Rare Beauty Foundation or Fenty Beauty Is Drop Tint? Which one is better? Let me show you. I, I did one side using Rare Beauty and other side using Fenty Beauty Is Drop. And I'm gonna tell you which one do I prefer, which one do I think it's better, and what are my final thoughts. So if, so if you're interested in seeing which one performs better, what do I think when they are side to side to each other, stay on and watch this video. So let's start. As you can see, my face is not in its best. Uh, I mean, it's not terrible, you know, you know that, uh, you know that meme, like, not great, not terrible, that's kind of the moment, but, you know, we're all humans and everything, have long, you know, shit happens situations. Uh, first things first, which is the most important step, is always, always prep your skin. I washed my face using the Youth of the People Kale uh, Cleanser, and then I've put this first uh, moisturizer, this is Dew Point Moisturizing Gel. Uh, cream all over my face uh, of course whatever uh, works the best for you if you have oily skin I think gel moisturizers are really good for prepping your skin before you do your makeup uh, because they're very light but moisturizing they won't be heavy and uh, they're gonna perform very nicely underneath your makeup so as I said we're gonna do one side using rare another side using Fenty first we're gonna start off with rare I'm uh, using this foundation in shade 210 what I would always suggest is shake this foundation because it is quite watery I would say I put uh, I put my foundation generally using this like dots uh, let's do like the side of my face like this. Uh, this is much more put. As you can see, I didn't went back in to try to add more. What I love about this foundation is uh, it's pigmented enough, so um, little goes a long way, and you can always add more. And I would say this foundation is more like a medium coverage to like full coverage. It all depends how much you're gonna put, but. Yeah, this is how it blends. I would say it blends very uh, easily. You don't have to work in quite uh, a lot, but uh, your skin still is gonna show underneath. As you can see, I have the residue of situations here that you still can see, but uh, you know, your overall skin tone looks a little better and a little bit more evened out. And as you can see, this is not really a lot. So we can add a little bit more just in the areas where I feel like I need a little bit more help like this and this here. And what I really do like about this foundation is that you can make it very, very light and very medium coverage and uh, adjust it to your own needs or you can make it like a full coverage foundation. It all depends how much uh, you put. Of course, the more you put it, the less light is gonna be. So it all depends um, uh, what coverage are you personally comfortable with. So this is this side of my face. Uh, done with this rare beauty foundation and this is how it looks close up just so I mean I'm sorry nobody needs to see my face this close up <laughs> but you know I'm trying to show you the foundation you can still see my skin underneath um, it, it's not like full coverage foundation in terms of certain areas but if you keep on adding more especially in those areas where you have certain situations it won't be able to cover it up I must say it blends uh, very nicely it doesn't leave um, those like dry patches or something like that it really sinks into your skin it's honestly one of the lightest foundations I've ever tried out you know it's very pigmented so I would say always go uh, little by little because it covers more me you would think but at the same time it's very very light on your uh, skin even though the foundation itself it's more like on the matte side I think this has more like a natural finish uh, it's not dewy it won't give you that like glow and shine if you have like more of a dry skin but um, also it's not like super mattifying or you know just drying kind of foundation but yeah this is how 
how it looks. I'm gonna do now the other side with Fenty uh, Ease Drop Foundation and then give you my like thoughts and everything. Said I'm using this one in number seven. Let's shake this one as well. Uh, this one is a tint, so just bear that in mind. Onto my forehead, and I think this is more than enough. And for this, I'm gonna use a brush. Usually I am a beauty blender kind of person, but because I use my beauty blender for this side, I'm gonna use the clean brush on this one. It is very light, as you can see. It's very blendable. I would say this is something you can uh, put with your fingers as well, because it is very on that like watery side. Honestly, this blends beautifully. Do you see how quickly that was? Like, honestly, this blends like this. Like, you just need some brush, or I would even maybe suggest using a brush with this, because it's very watery, a uh, beauty blender can uh, get a little bit of that foundation, so I would maybe even suggest going for uh, some brush and doing this like uh, tapping motions. This is what I love just to like make sure I blend it out everything and honestly I mean as you can see this is basically blended out and it took me I think, I think 60 seconds or something like that. So this is this side with Fenty Beauty. I didn't add anything uh, more. Uh, honestly, I think it's beautiful. It's much more like your own skin, how it looks close up. Uh, as you can see, there are certain areas um, that I have certain situations that, that they, this didn't really cover it up. But because this is a tent, you just have to bear that in mind. It's not something that you would expect to cover, you know, all your problematic areas. Honestly, this is so, so blendable. I would say this is even more blendable than the Rare Beauty one. It literally took me a minute. It literally just sank into my skin. Uh, I must say it feels a little bit more like my skin this side than this one because this one feels much more lighter even though this side, the Rare Beauty side, it's a very very light especially for foundation this one is weightless, like I don't feel anything you, it's the feeling that you get when you put your moisturizer basically and I would say it looks maybe a little bit more like my skin especially in the real life um, you don't get that like foundation vibe which I don't mean it in a bad way uh, this one has I think a little bit more coverage but this really you know this one looks a little bit more natural but at the same time it's covering enough like all those little imperfections it just makes your skin look a little bit more natural I would say um, when it comes to the feeling I stay corrected I think the rare uh, beauty foundation is a little bit more on the matte side I have an oily skin I still don't think this is like some crazy matte foundation I do think this is something that's gonna leave you dry or something like that while uh, this one has more like a natural finish as you can see you have that little like glow to your skin it's not something that's gonna make you like radiant and glow as itself but i think it just gets your like natural skin shine a little bit more which if you have oily skin can be maybe a little bit problematic if you are not really for that glow but i don't think this is something that makes you look like oily and like a hot mess more like i give you that really nice glow to your um, skin and nice shine but let me finish my makeup and then I'm gonna come to you with my final thoughts what I think and how everything looks when I do my makeup how it's gonna react with everything else and just give you my final thoughts I'm gonna do my makeup really quickly and come back to you in a second so that's my makeup uh, done I know shocking so different from what I usually do I know I know anyways as I said that's my makeup done this is how it looks I think I did pr pretty decent job basically so what are my final thoughts as i said this is rare beauty side this foundation and this is a uh, fenty is drop dent tint dent, tint on uh this side of my face so first before i give you my final 
thoughts I want to say like some like basic information when it comes to both of these similar when it comes to prices this one is $29 and this is I believe $29.50 or something like that so they are basically the same uh, the rare beauty one has as 1.0 uh, ounces or uh, 30 milliliters and the Fenty uh, beauty one has 1.08 ounces or 32 uh, milliliters so they are quite similar when it comes to prices and quite similar when it comes to quantity this one has a little bit more which one do i prefer <laughs> honestly it's really really hard uh so i wanted to break it down to a couple of things uh that kind of led me to make that decision and i just wanted to highlight certain things hopefully they're gonna make it a little bit easier for you to uh, make your own the decision first i want to say honestly they are both great 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 foundations uh, when it comes to pigmentation and coverage I would say the rare beauty one has m more coverage because it is in itself more a foundation it's quite logical for it to have more coverage than the Fenty beauty one so like with a rare beauty foundation I would say you can uh, achieve that like medium towards full coverage on um, the Fenty one honestly I think uh, looks like your skin just better so I mean don't expect from Fenty one to just cover some like huge pimples or some scars or marks or blemishes on your skin because it is a tint it's not like full full coverage one but as you can see I did like full face of it the rest of my makeup did the bronzer blush eyebrows, mascara, and all of that normally with the both sides. Uh, you can use the Fenty Beauty one equally as any other foundation. I just think it highlights more your skin and it really looks very effortless and you can wear it as itself even with no makeup at all while the rare beauty one uh, looks more like a foundation you know so it's like it all depends what are you looking for when it comes to final finish i would say one as i said before it has more like a matte finish but it's very comfortable matte it's not matte uh, uh, foundation that i wouldn't recommend to dry skin people out there still it really lets your natural skin shine underneath uh, while the Fenty Beauty one has completely like a natural finish it's not matte at all but it's not like some oily shiny foundation that even I who have uh, uh, oily skin uh, can not use just gives you that really nice subtle healthy skin glow basically uh, because I have oily skin and honestly I think that comes with everybody who has either oily t-zone or generally oily face uh, I set both of them when it comes to uh, area around my nose because this is where I do tend to shine my chin and this area around my forehead is what I do set with all of my foundations because I do have oily skin so that's uh, just a little heads up when it comes to how it feels on your face I would say the winner it's gonna be the Fenty Beauty one just because it feels so much more your skin I really don't feel like on this side of my face I have any type of foundation it really it's so 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 lightweight I just think they are for kind of different uses this for me I think it's perfect for summer and springtime and like daytime if you want to like do your makeup or just put this and do very natural makeup it's also great but also if you want to do like full face of makeup it's still gonna allow you to do that but it's gonna be super super lightweight it's not something as I said that's gonna make you feel like you're wearing foundation not at all but uh, you don't need something that uh, has like a ton of coverage or something like that I would say in spring and summertime this is great for everyday time uh, but I think Rare Beauty foundation is great foundation especially in those colder months when it gets like fall and winter or for going out or when you just need a little bit more coverage and you're gonna do your makeup but uh, you still want to feel light because considering this is a foundation I've really never felt anything that lightweight and very natural in terms of foundation so i would say when it's colder when it's colder months fall and winter or when you're going out you need a little bit more coverage use this one because it is great but for like especially now summer months when you want a little bit more a natural uh, look or you just want your 
skin to show through. I really don't want to feel like you're wearing foundation or makeup and just feel very light on your face. I would definitely then suggest this one. So I would definitely say it was super, super, super tight and for just a little inch, maybe the Fenty Beauty uh, one because every day you can put it on your face just to even out your skin tone and give you something but you can use it to do your full face of makeup without feeling that like heaviness of wearing foundation so yeah guys those are my final thoughts hopefully this video was a little bit helpful for you please please leave me a comment down below have you tried either of these two foundations if you did both of them which one is your favorite which one do you prefer and how do you use them i would really love to know uh, or if you tried one of those uh, what was your opinion and your experience with this one so yeah please guys as i said leave me a comment down below hope so this video was a little bit helpful for you uh, in terms of maybe making decision which one you should buy or if you were thinking about either Either of these two maybe this video help help you a little bit please if if it did please leave me a comment down below I would really love to know don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos and thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye